Me being the chosen one was like a blessing and exception. City known for homicide, majority depression. Grinding in the gym so I could live through the. Re what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Mike from NYC, and we back with another reaction. Today, we are going to watch some Tom Brady Ultimate Career Highlights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tom Brady is the greatest football player of all time. I don't know if there's any disputing that at this point. After he just got his sixth ring, I believe, with the Buccaneers, you know, very, uh, for people who are, you know, watch more basketball, maybe or football casuals, he's, he's very... Tim Duncan S. When I say Tim Duncan S, I mean like in his prime, he might, he's probably one of the best players in the league in his prime, but not, his peak isn't why people, why he's so respected in the way that he is. I mean like his longevity is completely incredible. He, he doesn't have the legs of not even Aaron Rodgers, let alone Mike Vick or Cunningham. He's not really as exciting as those players. Um, but he's probably the most consistent quarterback of all time, which is why he's the greatest, along with Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan in his prime, I don't think is the best power forward of all time. I would I would lean towards a Barkley and Malone, maybe even a KG, probably prime for prime, I would take KG over Duncan. But what makes Tim Duncan and Tom Brady both great is that they both are super consistent over a long period of time. You know what I mean? They can't, they, they're not really people that are gonna dunk on you or people that rely on their athleticism by any means, but people that are just very fundamental, know what they're doing and don't try to do too much to stay in their role. You know what I mean? Tim Duncan isn't a guy that's gonna get 10 assists. You know what I mean? He isn't a Giannis. I mean, not to say that Giannis is, you know, game isn't great or whatever, but he's gonna stick to his guns. He's gonna stay in the mid range. He isn't really gonna go out to the three. He's gonna stay in the mid range, use the backboard, post up, get blocks, rotate, run the floor. Tom Brady gonna stay in. He not leaving that pocket. Promise he not leaving that pocket. First, second read, uh, check down. He gonna make sure he pick he picks up the blitz every time. He gonna make sure he manages the clock. He makes sure he he's very fundamental base. You know what I'm saying? So without any further ado, I'm interested to see these highlights. Interested to see if they show, you know what I mean? Like, is it gonna be like a Tim Duncan highlight reel where it's like, mm, so let's let's uh let's get into that. just about done it could be his next game he plays it could be a year from now but he is going to fall off a cliff tom brady is going to be a bum in short order brady will go from being elite maybe he's still the best to cannot can no longer play effectively in the nfl it's going to happen in an eye blink either this year or next this was 2016 god damn god damn five years ago over five years ago we going into he five years later from when he said this, or four and a half years later from when he said this, he won a Super Bowl. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Ain't that about a bitch? First things first. Eh, we don't really need that. For me, I put some music over it, if anything. Just like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna have the plays where he's running out the pocket, running down the sideline, play action, one, two, good protection, step up, good read, throwing the pressure wide open. You know what I'm saying? This, These are very Tim Duncan-esque highlights, man. Something you gotta appreciate. Drop back, clean pocket, make a read, you know what I'm saying? Open receiver, boom. Play action, oh, flea flick, my fault. Clean pocket open receiver you know and it, and it's like and, and you have to respect it and, and to a degree because you know to a degree when when you're elite things look easy in the same right that you make people look whack you make things look easy sometimes you know what i mean tim duncan tom brady make they both make things look really easy to me kobe never never made anything look easy he never made anything look easy. You know what I mean? And, you know, sometimes, that's, sometimes it be like that. Oh, that was nice. Pump fake, look at the fundies, bro. Look at the fun, tell me this is not a drill. Step up in the pocket, pump fake, boom. 
That's a that's a pump fake rip through right there. That's the same thing. Pump, boom. That's clean. All right, that's that's nice. But it's like nothing on here looks like damn. Okay, that's a that's a. I mean, that's a one on one with Gronk, but not like he's not doing anything that you would think like damn. He's a monster. This is unbelievable. Like, you know, boom, play action. Oh, oh, that's a good, that's a great pass. You know? Now, if we watch some Mike Vick highlights, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll, his highlight word will be way better than this, I promise you. I'm, I'm tempted to turn it off. I'm maybe because the music is not on, but I'm tempted to like turn it off. I'm kind of like, starting to get a little like bored with this if i'm being real like everything is just easy you know but when you okay that's okay that's tough oh what tom brady breaking tackles fuck no get out of here step up Don't tell me Tom Brady breaking tackles, bruh. I'm about to turn it over. Start breaking tackles. <laughs> Drop that right in the bucket. But easy is easy. When you do things easily and simply, that's, you know, that, that allows you to have as much longevity as you want. Tom Brady could probably play another five years playing like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very, or maybe not, maybe not Tim Duncan. Maybe more like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Maybe it's more Kareem Abdul-Jabbar type stuff. You know? Um, he, I don't know, it's, it's different sports because he didn't, it didn't, it, I don't get the feel that he was as dominant though. I feel like the reason I compare it to a Tim Duncan is because one, the coaching, right? You got Bill Belichick, you got Greg Popovich. So you got probably one of the best coaches of all time and you have a great system, right? And that everybody just does their part. You know what I mean? Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, what you know, he played on his fair amount of teams where you know the talent wasn't up there. You know, I don't know if Tom Brady has ever really played on a team that he couldn't get to the playoffs or he had he ever had to like drag to the playoffs. He's always had great teams, and that's because teams always or good players always want to play for somebody like the Patriots who have a great system, who have a great quarterback. You know what I mean? Um, just great, well ran organization, which is why I think. You know, it's maybe a little bit closer to uh, a Tim Duncan, a type of career. You know, oh, fumble. You know? And you know, I, I've never really hated on Tom Brady. He just always beat the Steelers. Like, I don't know if there was a year that he, that the Steelers played him in the playoffs and he didn't beat them. You know, but uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Oh, this is game winning drive right here. Hold on. All right, we in this, we inside the 10 yard line. Two minute drill. Oh, that's a weird route combination. You have like a levels concept. You got you got somebody going five deep and then you got somebody going like pretty closer to 10 deep. That's an interesting route combination right there. I guess maybe they knew and like I'm I guess it works in zone and I guess it works against man as well. I guess that yeah, that's an interesting route combination right there. And you would think, yeah, all you gotta do is blitz Tom Brady. Blitzing Tom Brady, I get I think it works. I, that's probably your best bet, you know what I mean? But just like any player, you gotta give him a you gotta give him a different dose of of everything you can't blitz tom brady or every play down the field you know what i mean just like you can't you can't put one defender on somebody on a great player like a kobe bryant you can't put the same you can't give him the same look sometimes you double 
Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you put a bigger defender. Sometimes you put a smaller defender. Sometimes you may want to zone it up. Sometimes, you know, if you if you operate it under, under screen work, you know, you don't want to go under the screen every time he's going to start airing you out. You give him the same look. You know what I mean? You want to you want to switch up how things look. You know what I mean? You may want to make him think a double's coming, a double isn't. You want to make him a double isn't coming, and it is. You may want to, you know, there's a lot of different things that you may want to try to do, you know, which is your best bet. You know, but for Tom Brady, because he's immobile, you know, if you can blitz effectively, you know, it, that's probably your best bet. There's some quarterbacks you don't want to blitz. There's some quarterbacks that you want to sit in the pocket and make decisions. You know what I mean? Like, um, see, Russell Wilson is like, you don't, you, you don't want to do either. You don't want Russell to get out the pocket and you don't want Russell to just sit in there and be able to make reads. I'm trying to think of a quarterback who you would want to sit in the pocket. And you, Lamar Jackson is a perfect example. Lamar Jackson, keep him in the pocket at all costs. If he beats us with the arm, that's something you'll lose with. Vic to a lesser degree, you know, because I think Vic and Lamar probably can run just as well. I think uh, I, I have a favoritism towards Vic. I just think Vic is just a better runner. I think Lamar's probably, I don't know, maybe right or wrong. But either way, I think Vic had a better arm. So Vic to a lesser degree. But you don't want Vic to beat you with his legs, bro, because that's, that's death, bro. You know what I mean? But Lamar Jackson, certainly you want him in that pocket. You make sure you got your QB contains. You make sure you got your QB spies. You know what I mean? Especially if you're playing man-to-man -man coverage, you want to make sure you have QB spies. You may even want to run zone just so everybody in the secondary has eyes on the quarterback. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Because Lamar isn't really the best thrower. You know, so somebody like Lamar, you don't, you don't want to blitz. You want to play coverage. You want to have a spy. You want to have contains. You want to do stuff like that. You know what I mean? Or if you can get pressure on him, you know, that might be a good thing. Make him make quick decisions, but as long as he don't get out that pocket. Here's some Steelers highlights. Is this playoff game? AFC Championship. Yeah, man. He got all day. You can't give Tom Brady all day. That's that, that shit like that happens. You got Chris Hogan busting our ass. Flea flick. What is he doing? He got caught. He got caught with his pants around his ankles. Completely caught. What is he doing? He he's supposed to be on Edelman because you can. It, it looks like man to man. No, it's not. Okay, maybe he's. Oh, they oh they bit down on the run. That's what it was. They bit down on the run. That's exactly what happened. Cause you can tell like he was he was supposed to him and my twenty eight and him over here was supposed to be in coverage. They saw him. They saw him get the football. So it's like it's hard to really blame him. Like you saw them get the football. You you saw the football handed off. It wasn't a play action. It was a flea flicker. So he got it back. Then he's trying to recover. He dumped to her fucked. And now somebody's certainly wide open. You know what I'm saying? That's great play calling. A lot of it is really play calling. Because as we've been sitting here watching this video, I mean, how many passes were... How many passes needed to be pin perfect? How many passes did he have to put it right where the receiver can get it? Not many. You know, a lot of it is great blocking. Uh, a lot of it is great play calling, great coaching, uh, you know, good enough receivers. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see what he got to say. If you ever get to another Super Bowl, I have one answer. Oh, shit. My bad. My bad. No how. Wait, what did he say? His career. Tom Brady's on the downside of his career. And, and if you ask me if he'll ever get to another Super Bowl, I have one answer. No way, no how. I think they just be saying shit for face value. Down 20. Bro, no lie. I stopped. Why, I, I, I should have. To this day, man, I kick myself a little bit. Because at half, one, once that pick six happened at halftime and I turned the game off, I was like, it's over. I was like, bro, it's over. Falcons won, you know what I'm saying? And then I was in the PlayStation party, and, you know, somebody was watching and um, somebody was watching and playing the game. He was like, oh, okay, the Patriots scored a touchdown. And I was like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew they wasn't going to lay down. You know what I'm saying? I knew they wasn't going to take it lying down. You feel me? He's like, oh, shit, Patriots scored another touchdown. 
All right, like, all right, I assume they're making it close, but, you know, the Falcons probably let their foot off the gas. And don't get it wrong, the Falcons sold. The Falcons played not to lose in the second half, not to win. Because I, I re, I mean, I didn't watch it at the time, but I rewatched the game later on, uh, maybe a year or two down the line, and I saw how passive the, Pac or the, the Falcons were playing. They weren't playing to win. They were playing not to lose. They were they were trying to run out the clock. They were trying to desperately hold on instead of keep on doing what's working. Keep on punching them in the mouth. Keep on punching them in the mouth. And when you give and when you play like not to lose against Tom Brady, that is exactly how you lose. Playing not to lose against a great, not only a great team but a great quarterback. Because once it got to this situation right here, let's see. When did they? When did I know they lost? Right, right here. It was like, okay, boom. Um, touchdown. Like, okay, they did the, what they needed to do. And they got two point. And they got both two point conversions, which is fucking insane. The defense needed to just stop one. The game probably would have been over. But once we got down to this situation, 28 to 20 with three minutes left on the clock, it was like, bro, this is the perfect story. This is the perfect story. The offense didn't produce no points in the second half. Literally, no points in the second half. That Falcons offense was was a crazy talented offense they had so many weapons and you saw and i at least saw them just go three and out three and out three and out three and out because they ran the ball three times and they didn't put the ball in julio jones's hand they tried to just hurry up and hurry up and get out the game that's not how you win bro so you know honestly i don't feel bad for the i feel bad for julio jones and everybody else in that team i don't feel sorry for I'm going to be honest for you. I'm going to be honest with you. Matt Ryan, don't feel bad for him. I feel bad for Julio Jones, man. But Julio Jones is on the, on the Titans now. So, you know what I'm saying? He'll probably... That was insane. Oh, my gosh. That was insane. It was a perfect story, bro. It was a perfect story. Like, the Falcons threw on the lob, and the Patriots just windmilled that bitch. Scored right here. And then they got the two, bro. It was like, all right, cool. And then OT, Tom Brady get ball off rip. That's GG, bro. Once it got to overtime, the game was literally lost. Like, the game literally could not have been lost. Because the pressure is all on the Falcons. And it's like, y'all let us tie it up. Now we definitely got to drive it home. But, yeah. Julio Jones is on, a, on the Titans now. So, he'll probably, he'll probably, you know what I'm saying? He'll probably do his thing. He got, he got a, he guys a running game he's never had, you know what I mean? You with Derrick Henry, you gotta put at least six, seven in the box, and you gotta put damn near three people on Julio Jones, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, obviously I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean? Uh, shit, but yeah, definitely a great video. Um, at least um in terms of, you know, I think he did a good job with the moments, you know what I mean? Like he. He, he put together moments instead of just plays, which I really think is interesting. And then he had the little narratives where people were saying that he's washed and all of that stuff. So definitely a great video. Definitely like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like these type of videos. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.